India's much anticipated 5G spectrum auction received record breaking bids worth 1.45 trillion rupees by the end of day 1 after four rounds exceeding analysts expectations this inched up to 1.49 trillion rupees by day 2 in nine rounds of bidding telcos are not done yet there is more action left the previous record was set in 2015 when the exchequer garnered rupees 1.09 trillion from the sale of 4g airwaves equivalent to about 1.5 trillion rupees today given the ample supply of spectrum in this year's auction the bidding across bands has been largely at reserve prices surprisingly the expensive 700 megahertz band which went unsold in the last two auctions because of high base price received 10 megahertz pan india bid covering all 22 telecom circles costing 39270 crore rupees the base price of the band was reduced by 40% this time analysts say the buyer is most likely the reliance jio the mid frequency 5g band of 3.5 gigahertz and the high frequency band of 26 gigahertz also witnessed strong demand on day 1 jio likely bid for the highest spectrum worth 81000 crore rupees followed by bharti airtel at 45000 crore rupees and vodafone idea at 18400 crore rupees both airtel and jio may have bid for 100 megahertz of spectrum in the 3.5 gigahertz band across all circles while vodafone idea could have gone for 50 megahertz in 17 circles adani data networks may have picked up 26 gigahertz spectrum pan india spending as much as 900 crore rupees from an overall perspective uh, it seems to be a very participative uh, auction the sub 1 gig bands are able to penetrate uh, thick walls and provide services indoors 80% of the data gets consumed indoors so i think from that perspective uh, 700 is a very very useful very potent spectrum uh, which um, uh, probably uh, geo understands and they want to invest behind that spectrum and this will eventually put pressure on airtel as well uh, to compete on quality of customer experience uh, if the launch is basically to um, you know raise a tick and say yes i've done it then uh, the amount of capex required could be very uh, nominal because most of the networks are uh, ip ready and now the government is giving e band uh, on uh, administrative prices which will allow them to augment their uh, wireless backhaul as well that is required e band will serve a good uh, short to medium term solution uh, but eventually e band will have to be complemented with a lot of fiber but if you are looking at uh, um, you know new use cases which will uh, be applicable to low latency internet of things then you need to build a very dense network because uh, these applications cannot work with any dark spots that requires a very uh, big amount of investment essentially e band will uh, provide uh, probably provide a bridge but eventually you'll need fiber backhaul and india has a long way to go on that and the second is the number of towers i can go by the example of china here china has about a million 5g sites today and uh, they are talking about trebling it uh, india has only about 250,000 260,000 uh, unique sites to an operator the government intends to allocate the spectrum by august 14th with the rollout expected in the coming months to speed up the launch the telecom department provisionally allotted e band spectrum to telcos for their 5g backhaul requirements so india has previously dragged its heels on starting 5g auctions in the country this is well known that has made us a laggard so in that sense uh, it's finally official so that itself is a success in terms of what was raised it it has to be regarded a success uh, there is substantial demand for 5g and interest from the operators in deploying 5g so can 5g be deployed on 700 megahertz of course it can but it doesn't have the same economies of scale and device availability that the 3.5 gigahertz band does in theory if they have this 10 megahertz nationwide then they can extend 5g to suburban sort of areas you know most operators have taken an incremental approach where they start with sort of the the big urban areas you know dense population uh, high traffic uh, or industrial zones and or, or venues will new towers be required not necessarily because in the short term a telco can leverage the existing you know ground based and roof based towers and add a new 5g base station for coverage wherever you need to basically densify the network there they're going to have to add small cells and other things so you will see new sites definitely 
the backhaul is going to carry the traffic from the tower or the base station back to the core network. Right now, backhaul is a mix of mainly microwave and some fiber. You know, roughly about 35% of the towers in India have fiber connectivity, which is quite low compared to global norms. They can also complement it with, uh, besides microwave, other wireless technologies that will run over the e-band. While many Indians may well get to see 5G by the end of this year, experts say the existing infrastructure on access and backhaul is inadequate to provide a world-class 5G experience in the near term. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. सब अच्छी दिख रही हैं यार कौन सी करी दूँ ये तो वही बात हुई चार हजार शेयर लिस्टेड है कौन सा लू वो तो सबसे आसान है तुझे फाइव पैसा नहीं पता अब तो सबको पता है फाइव पैसा पर है चार हजार स्टॉक्स की रिसर्च टेक्निकल टूल्स और इन्वेस्टमेंट आइडियाज डाउनलोड फाइव पैसा नाउ अब तो सबको पता है इन्वेस्टिंग मेड इजी एंड रिपोर्टिंग विद फाइव पैसा इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल द रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट केयरफुल बिफोर इन्